Good day everyone, this is group 10 from 11 STEM Knowledge discussing to you the types of discontinuities of the given functions. The first function we have is f of x is equal to 2x over x squared minus 3x given is equal to 0. The first step to do to determine the type of discontinuity of a function is to evaluate it with our given value of x. Substitute 0 for all the x in the function and we will have 2 times 0 over 0 squared minus 3 times 0. Simplify it and we will have 0 over 0 making it indeterminate. If we have an indeterminate value for a function, we must redefine it to give us a real value. Factoring the equation 2x over x squared minus 3x. We will have 2 times x over x times the quantity of x minus 3. Cancel x and we will have 2 over x minus 3 left in our function. We must use this redefined function to get the value of f of 0. Substitute 0 for all the x in the function. 2 over 0 minus 3 is equal to 2 over negative 3 or negative 2 thirds. Use this new value to redefine our function. We will have now f of x equal to 2x over x squared minus 3x if x is not value to 0 and negative 2 thirds if x is equal to 0. Since we are able to remove the discontinuity of the function and redefine it, we can conclude that the function is an example of a removable discontinuity. Moving on to our graph, the function f of x has undefined value for x equals to 0. However, we are able to remove the discontinuity with our redefined function. For our next item, we have the function g of x equals to negative 5 plus x over 2x minus 1, given x equals to 1 half. Again, Evaluate first our function by substituting 1 half for all the x in the function. Negative 5 plus 1 half over 2, 1 half minus 1 is equals to negative 4 1 half over 1 minus 1. This is equals to negative 4 1 half over 0 which is undefined. Therefore, we must find the limits of the function. The table for the limit of negative 5 plus x over 2x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 half from the left, goes to positive infinity as it increases as x approaches 1 half from the left. This goes the same for our right hand limit, negative 5 plus x over 2x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 half from the right, although this goes to negative infinity. As we evaluate our limits, our left hand limit goes to positive infinity and our right hand limit goes to negative infinity. By the following the conditions for the type of discontinuities, we can say that g of x equals to negative 5 plus x over 2x minus 1. is an infinite discontinuity as at least one side of the limits goes to infinity. This can be seen in our graph here which is asymptotic to x equals to 1 half. Now for the third item, we have the function of h of x equal to 4x plus x squared if x is greater than 1 and negative 10 over x minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 1 given x is equal to 1. For our first step, since our given is a piecewise function, we will only use the function that holds and applies the restriction that we have here given our point, namely x is equal to 1. So, we will use negative 10 over x minus 1 since it holds the restriction of x is less than or equal to positive 1. And we must substitute positive 1 for all the values of x in the equation. So, we will have the value of h of 1 is equal to negative 10 over 1 minus 1, which is equal to negative 10 over 0. And since we all know that any number divided by 0 is undefined, so therefore, we must find the limits of the function. Now, as we express our piecewise functions as the limits of the functions, we have the table here for the limits of the functions as it approaches to 1. So we have the limit of negative 10 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 from the left and the limit of 4x plus x squared as x approaches to 1 from the right. So, for our left side limits, we have the, z the value of x of 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, and 0 
and their corresponding values of f of x are 10, 20, 100, 1000, and 10,000 respectively. And for our right-hand functions, we have 2, 1.5, 1.1, 1.01, and 1.001. So our value of f of x would be 12, 8.35, 5.61, 5.0601, and 5.006 respectively. So, as we can see here, the limit of the function negative 10 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 from the left increases as x approaches to 1 from the left. So, we can say that it goes, to, it goes on to positive infinity. Meanwhile, for our right-hand functions we, that we have here, it ultimately goes down to the value of 5. So, we will have the value of 5. Now, after evaluating our limits, we are left with the limit of 4x plus x squared as x approaches to positive 1 from the right equal to 5, and the limit of negative 10 over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1 from the left equal to infinity. And since at least one of the one-sided limits of our function is going to infinity, we can say that our function h of x is an example of an infinite discontinuity. So moving on to our graph of the function h of x, we have here two parts of the graph which is the parabolic shape which can be translated from 4x plus x squared if x is greater than 1 and the asymptotic shape that we have here from negative 10 over x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1 which is asymptotic to x is equal to 1. And therefore, from this graph, we can prove that this function is a type of infinite discontinuity. For the fourth item, we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 5 if x is greater than or equal to negative 1, and 2x squared plus 1 if x is less than to negative 1. And the given of x is equal to negative 1. Since our given is negative 1, we will use 3x plus 5 to evaluate our function. We must substitute negative 1 to all the x in the function f of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1, plus 5 which is equal to negative 3, plus 5, plus 5 which is equal to positive 2. Since f of c x is we must get the right side and left sides. The limit of function first we have... The limit of 2x squared plus 1, x approaches to negative 1. From the left, from the table, we can see that it ultimately approaches to 3. So we will have the limit of 2x squared plus 1 as x approaches to negative 1. From the left is equal to 3. Now, for the right hand limits, we will have the limit of 3x plus 5 as x approaches to negative 1. From the right again, from the table, we see that as x approaches to negative 1, f of x approaches to positive 2. Thus, we will have the limit of 3x plus 5 as x approaches from the right is equal to positive 2. Lastly, we must compare the right hand and left side limits of our function to determine the type of discontinuity. Our function as the limit of 2x plus as x approaches to negative 1. From the left is positive 3 and the limit of 3x plus 5 as x approaches to negative 1. From the right is equal to positive 2. We can see that right hand and left hand limits exist but are none equal, making this a jump discontinuity. Let us see the graph. There is a jump happening on the function 3x plus 5 and 2x squared plus 1 at x equal to 1, making this an example of jump discontinuity. Moving on, we have our fifth item. We have the function of g of x is equal to x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2. Given x is equal to negative 2. First, we must evaluate g of negative 2. Negative 2 cubed plus 8 over negative 2. Plus 2 is equal to negative 8. Plus 8 over negative 2. Plus 2 which is 0 over 0. The value of the function is indeterminate and therefore we must redefine the value fun the value of function to give us real the value if you remember in algebra x cubed plus 8 is a sum of two cubes this can be factored using the formula cube plus v cube is equal to 
a plus b times i squared minus a v. Plus b squared following this, we will have x cubed plus 8 over x plus 2. As x plus 2 times x squared minus 2 x plus 4, cancel x plus 2. In both the numerators and denominators, leaving us with x squared minus 2 x plus 4. Now, that we have the new function, we must then evaluate g of negative 2 again using the new function. g of negative 2 is equal to 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 plus 4. 4 plus 4, 4 is equal to 12. Use this value for the predefined function and we will have g of x is equal tax cube plus 8 over x plus 2. If x is not equal to negative 2 and 12 if is equal to negative 2. Comparing the graph of our original and redefined function, we can say that the discontinuous function from the original function as an undefined y value for x equal to negative 2. Whereas the redefined function give us a real value for x equal to negative 2. Thanks for watching. This is Group 10 from 11 STEM Knowledge. Now signing off.